Oh, gosh. So I don't know how many people they called before that said no. And I will say that since I have um, a long-standing um, set of family members who went to DePaul as well, I definitely felt I couldn't say no to this opportunity to represent the class of, of 25th. Now, I've been told that I'm just the warm-up person, that Ralph is the big show, and then you have the closer over here, so I'll keep this light and short. Um, so it's funny when you start to think about your time at DePaul, and I will be honest, the first thing that comes to mind is the fact that I gained 25 pounds in the first 30 days that I joined. <laughs> and um, and I, I hold DePaul fully accountable for that. Um, Rector Hall had this like glowing beam of orange light that came out of the uh, dining hall. And it was all the fried foods, everything kind of golden and mac and cheese. And if there was a salad bar, I didn't see it. I think it was like way, way in the back if there was like a couple leaves of lettuce. I certainly wasn't going to um, ever acknowledge its presence. I know things have changed. Um, and I also blamed DePaul for the fact that um, they made my parents right because my parents said if I could just survive high school, which given I was the youngest, that was quite a feat, that it would be the best four years of my life. And they were right about that. Um, I also blamed DePaul for the fact that back 25 years ago, it wasn't that hard to find a job. I mean, you just showed up at the Career Planning Center and you signed your name up on a few sheets. And if you wanted to, you could kind of get one. And within about two weeks of leaving the school, I was employed. So um, that's all your fault, too, because I didn't get to have any fun that summer. Um, I'm not going to say, like, it's all hearts and flowers, though, up here today. Um, I see a lot of money going into beautiful buildings. And I have, <clears throat> with my good friends over here, the joy of staying in Longdon Hall. And I would like to say that AC and carpet does not make a renovation. <laughs> and, and again, this is your fault because you taught us all to have high standards. And um, therefore, we like to stay a little better uh, overnight stay locations in Longdon. Um, I'd also like to say, where is Bowman Pond? I don't know if anybody else is upset about this, but many ice skating shena you know, shenanigans there. Um, President Casey has assured me that was gone before he arrived, so <clears throat> no stoning, please. Um, but on a more serious note, you know, I think about what really do I think are some of the hallmarks of what we got at DePaul. And I do think that DePaul really nurtured our Midwesterness. Um, I'm sure many of you feel the same, whether you were from the Midwest originally or just came here and kind of got your, your good four-year dose of it. Um, but I felt like throughout the next 25 years of my life, um, that really um, taught us all to have an approachable, humble quality. It made us adaptable. And I just think it helped us overall have a lot of success in life. Um, also, it gave us a really great um, toolkit of skills. Um, I think that I learned to look at life's challenges um, with a lot more balance, looking at them emotionally and, and intellectually and psychologically. And when, you know, we're all bonding last night and talking about all the challenges we face, you know, health, work challenges, death, divorce, all of those skills that we learned here, I felt like taught us how to dust ourselves off and cope and look forward and, and move forward in life. Um, so I'm grateful for that, um, and certainly that is DePaul's fault. Um, as I was driving in last night, I'm not going to lie, as I was driving, got off the Cloverdale exit, I was kind of feeling some of that anxiousness. I haven't been back since my five-year reunion, and, you know, it, it was weird. You know, it was kind of half nervous, like, will I remember anybody's names? I mean, of course you're going to remember the people you've stayed closest to, but you're getting nervous that I'm 47 now and things might be a little cloudier. Um, and just kind of the anxiety of all that time. Um, and what was kind of neat about it is I think that we arrived in Longdon and after we complained about the bathrooms, and you know, it's just paint. It's a simple thing. Um, I, I would say after, you know, we kind of got into it, you know, the next thing you knew, we were walking over to East College, a pack of girls and Dan. Thank you, Dan, for being our soul man last night. And, you know, before you knew we were mingling about, we hitched a ride on a golf cart over to Delt, and we're standing on the porch at Delt, and, and the weird thing is, is I'm talking to people, and some people I was close with in school, and other people were acquaintances, and strangely, it was the conversations with the acquaintances that became the most deep, because you realize reconnecting here how much we really did have in common just here, 
but also later in life. And then we ended up at Marvin's, and I won't go into any of the ugly details. I'm just glad I made it here. But, um, but there were moments through the night where I felt myself just standing back and observing and just taking note. And what I just kept taking note of is that thanks to DePauw, I was watching a group of people who've managed for the last 25 years to move through it with a lot of grace and love and laughter. And for that, I have no one else to blame. So thank you.